So hi, Micro Hunter here. Look what I brought you today. It is a microscope. Well, obviously it's an introductory microscope. Um, and in this video, I would like uh, to introduce it to you. I think it's a very um, yeah, good microscope uh, to start off uh, microscopy with. Also quite uh, suitable for children. I forgot to put the eyepiece in here. Um, and uh, I think also uh, quite uh, useful for educational use. Uh, it's a uh, pretty low cost. Um, it's only around 100 euros or 100 US dollars. Um, but for that uh, amount of money, you get quite a bit of microscope. I was actually quite surprised. And what I would like to do in this video is, is I want to give you first a general overview over the microscope. And then later on, I'm going to unpack it and we're going to have a more, more detailed look at the device. Uh, and then at the end, I'm going to show you some of the images that I have taken through the microscope so that you can also see, uh, yeah, essentially how it looks like when you look through it. So first of all, uh, this microscope is called the Swift SW150 um, and uh, it belongs to the category that I gave it the category, it's an introductory microscope. Um, I say introductory because I want to distinguish it from the so-called toy microscopes. It's not a toy um, anymore or it is not a toy. Um, because simply the image quality is too good and uh, there is a lot of metal. It's made uh, mostly of metal. Um, so uh, there are only a few, pla only few pl uh, plastic parts here and I think uh, this actually qualifies it to be considered already a, a serious microscope, um, especially for those people who need one um, for transport, uh, like, I don't know, maybe as a travel microscope or um, children in, in uh, maybe in lower, um, in the lower, schools uh, where they cannot carry heavy microscopes around. There's a handle here. Um, and I think also adults uh, who would like to maybe uh, simply uh, try out microscopy a little bit without actually uh, spending uh, too much money. Uh, because uh, the microscope uh, allows you to see pretty much all of the things uh, that uh, also more expensive microscopes um, allow you to see. I'm going to talk about the differences uh, later on. Let's first uh, go through the whole uh, device here. So first of all, the tube here is made of metal. That's a pretty important thing. The head here is made of metal. You see, you can rotate this around. It operates quite smoothly. There is a mirror in here. Um, yeah, so that is uh, also important to know that uh, you will get an image that is uh, uh, horizontally flipped. Here, this here, the, the arm um, is made of uh, metal, uh, aluminum, also the base um, is made of metal and uh, to my big surprise, um, because that's not something that all um, introductory microscopes have, the stage is also made of metal. Uh, not that this is uh, particularly important, but it shows that uh, the company takes microscopes seriously. So I like that, uh, makes it also more scratch resistant especially if you have slides, microscope slides with sh uh, sharp corners. And so the, yeah, it makes it a little bit more scratch resistant. The bottom part here, that is uh, plastic. Uh, there is, as a matter of fact, also a little um, yeah, battery compartment here. The, the lamp is, is plastic, uh, the coarse and defined focus knobs, uh, they are plastic. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, and over here, of course, the, the wheel here for adjusting the brightness is also plastic. So you see that mostly it's it's actually, it's metal, so it makes a very, very solid uh, um, yeah, impression. Now, um, the microscope itself has a triangular shape here. This is actually also quite uh, good because it uh, gives it a little bit more stability than those microscopes that are, are square. So in that sense, I kind of like uh, the design. One thing that it is a little bit uh, yeah, unusual is, is that there is also a lamp uh, from the top um, that's uh, yeah, not a disadvantage uh, and uh, it allows you to see objects with the low power um, objective. This is the four times magnifying objective. They can also be seen uh, from the top. So if you've got a small insect, for example, or other um, smaller objects and you've, you place it on the stage, then you can also see um, the, how it looks uh, from the outside. It's not um, designed uh, to use, be used uh, with the high magnification, that's the 40 times, because it, the um, objective itself is going to make a shadow. Um, so the light is not able to reach uh, the specimen. Honestly, um, yeah, I mean, if the specimen is bigger, then maybe, I don't know, no, it's probably not gonna be able to reach it. But however, this is already so highly magnifying that you're probably not gonna use the top illumination anyway. So yeah, um, that is uh, the uh, quick uh, quick overview. Um, one of the things that I like about this microscope is the following. You might not be able to realize this, but I'm going to show it to you here. I switched it on, the main switch is in the back, but look what happens when I turn on, uh, when I rotate uh, this wheel here. Maybe you can just see, look at the lamp here. Yeah. Of course it becomes brighter and uh, it basically becomes dimmer. So what's so special here? 
Well, the thing that's special is, is it goes all the way from all the way to bright to all the way to off. Many um, other, not many, I've seen other introductory microscopes that are not that linear. So that means uh, as soon as you turn it on, you turn the wheel a little bit and it already becomes very bright. And then when you keep on turning it, there is not a big change. But they've actually really corrected this and you have the full range um, of brightness now. And, and that's something that I really like, okay? So they actually, um, it's actually useful here, okay? This, uh, this, uh, this wheel here. And by the way, um, in the back, when I flip over, okay, then look at the top, uh, same for the top, top lamp as well, okay? Okay, so that is uh, actually um, a quite a nice thing. Um, concerning the objectives, um, that's also something that I want to, to kind of show you here is, is there is four times, 10 times and 40 times. So this uh, gives you a magnification from 40, 100 and 400 times if you use the 10 times magnifying eyepiece because you always multiply it by 10. Um, they also come with, it also comes with a 25 times eyepiece so you can exchange that which gives you a total magnification of uh, 25 times 40, which is a thousand. I personally, for those of you who know me and who have also seen other videos of my channel, um, I'm not a big fan of uh, increasing magnification using eyepieces. It's not a disadvantage. You have an extra thing to play around with, um, and, but generally I would uh, use the 10 times eyepiece. So um, that is basically the, the uh, overall uh, design here. Ah, no, I almost forgot something. Um, because of course uh, it's battery operated, but on the back here, you can see that there is also the possibility to plug in a power supply, which I don't have now. Oh, I have it here, just a second. So here is the power supply. Okay, so it, look at this. I need to put the microscope down. Look, it's USB, that's nice. And on the other side, on the other side, you can plug it in and into the microscope because this is regular, yeah power adapter here, it's, that's also nice. So I have not tried it yet, but I think uh, maybe if you plug it into a computer, it should also work. But actually, why would you do that if you have a power ad adapter? So um, well, yes, uh, just another thing. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about a few things where they actually did some uh, cost savings because a microscope uh, that costs only around 100 euros or dollars, you've got to cut down the cost somewhere. Um, and uh, one of the ways where you can cut down the cost is, of course, not by including a mechanical stage, but by including stage clips. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Um, so you, the slides are held in place by those clips. That's uh, one way of saving, um, saving money because uh, otherwise you have, you have to have an additional, uh, quite complex mechanical system here to move the slide. And the second thing is, is it does not have a condenser. Um, normally microscopes uh, are a little more expensive. They have an optical system beneath the stage which uh, bundles the light. And here all you have is, is you have a plastic rotating disc with aperture holes. And in a different video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the microscope yourself by adding polarization filters here. And with uh, polarization filters, uh, you can then actually expand the things that you can see quite, quite a bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you um, how you can use uh, quite cheap uh, polarization film. Um, in the stage, there is um, also over here a, uh, a lens which uh, actually bundles the light a little bit, but it's not a complete replacement uh, for um, a condenser. But um, yeah, and I think it, it might appear, it, it does appear to be glass and not plastic. If this is really the case, uh, then this is actually also quite nice. So who is the microscope uh, now for? I mean, who'd be interested? Well, um, there are a couple of, you know, a few target groups that I can think of. First of all, um, I might have already mentioned this, uh, anyone who would like uh, to have a small travel microscope uh, or maybe a field microscope uh, where you want to take it out into the field to quickly observe, uh, put some observations under the microscope. Uh, I can also imagine with, uh, if you go on an excursion with students. The reason why this is an advantage is, is of course, because it's bat there's a battery compartment in here. Can we open this quickly? Okay, and here you see there are three batteries in here. And this of course makes the microscope uh, um, also of course uh, not only portable but independent of any power supply. So anyone who needs a field microscope. Number two, anyone who is interested in picking up microscopy as a hobby but who does not know yet whether the hobby is something for him or her. And uh, if you do not want to invest too much money um, at the beginning then I would say okay, um, yeah, buy yourself one of those. Uh, you will be able to join the community of amateur microscopists uh, quite easily. You can take pictures, you can share them on online if you want to. Yeah. So it's, I would say, a very low cost uh, 
and a very straightforward and easy way to start uh, the hobby. Uh, of course, uh, for children, that is a possibility um, because it's relatively small, also low cost, and uh, because it's uh, reduced in functionality, there is no mechanical stage, there is no condenser and so on. It can also be seen as an advantage because uh, they, children might otherwise be overwhelmed uh, with all of those additional features. Um, yeah, so, and uh, I can also imagine it is if you need a homeschooling microscope, it could also be quite useful because again, the cost is not so high um, and yeah, it's, it's quite, uh, quite uh, you can see all the things that you want to see. Um, what are some of the disadvantages? Well, of course, there are always disadvantages. No microscope is perfect. One disadvantage is if you see it as a disadvantage, it only has a monocular tube. This means you can only watch with one eye. Um, especially when observing uh, longer, uh, many hours with a microscope, uh, this is a little bit tiring always to look through with one eye. Um, in this case, a binocular microscope is, of course, much, much more convenient. On the other hand, yeah, monocular microscopes have the advantage. It makes it cheaper. It makes it uh, lighter. It makes it more portable. And sometimes that's the only thing that you actually need. Those people who are interested in microscopy in a much more, much more than if you want to actually pick up uh, amateur microscopy and if you're sure about it, that you really want to pick up amateur microscopy and you really want to go into the depths uh, of this hobby, then I probably would suggest that you buy yourself a, a slightly larger model because, I mean, it, it's a little bit uh, small um, in the sense that you have to bend down a little bit on, on the table because it, it's simply from the height uh, kind of small. Um, and uh, yeah, if this is a problem, then you just have to put it on a thick book, I would say, uh, to raise it a little bit. Yeah, but I've, uh, um, yeah, I've heard of um, several people who are using microscopes like this and they're doing serious amateur microscopy with that and that's all they ever need and all that they're ever going to yeah, be happy with. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, anything else that I wanted to say? Yeah, um, if I, ha I do have a suggestion and the suggestion is, is, is that if you want to upgrade it, actually those microscopes are not really designed to be um, upgraded so much. There are not so many options, but there is one option. And that is, is uh, if I were to invest anything more than I would probably exchange this eyepiece here, which has a field number of uh, a field number of 16 with another eyepiece, 10 times eyepiece, so which is slightly larger. This one has a field number of 18. You can see that it also fits in here. Why uh, would I do that? Because you're seeing uh, much more. So the, the circle that you see in, is actually wider with those. Yeah. Uh, it's of course also more expensive, uh, clearly. So the magnification is the same, but uh, the, the, the amount that you actually see, uh, yeah, the circle is larger. So in that sense, uh, it's a little bit more convenient to observe. That's a recommendation that I have, but I guess most people will be fine with uh, the uh, supplied eyepiece as well. By the way, in case you're wondering, uh, this supplied eyepiece does come with a little pointing arrow that can also be removed if you don't like that. I'll show you later how it looks like. Okay, let's uh, start uh, opening the box. Uh, well, there is of course an, a, a warranty and also a short instruction uh, manual in there. You have to turn the box around. Uh -huh. This is the top side. Yeah, it's labeled the uh, top. That's important. You don't want uh, the microscope to fall out uh, when you open it and uh, this is uh, how it looks like everything's uh, nicely wrapped and packaged and uh, of course uh, it makes a very nice and a very good impression so let's have a closer look now okay this is uh, the microscope in the box it does feel a little bit like christmas yeah? so uh, let's uh, remove everything of course uh, all of those uh, plastic uh, covers and plastic bags these are of course uh, is also for dust uh, protection so uh, this is what you get. You get a power adapter. Um, it's a USB power adapter. You get a 25 times eyepiece and you also get a 10 times eyepiece, which are already connected. Batteries are included, um, warranty and instruction manual, and also a dust cover. Just wanted to check the lamp here. Yeah, the LED is in here. It's a pretty decent sized LED. Um, and you have also here a coarse and a fine focus knob, of course. Um, that is uh, necessary, but they're coupled like this. Uh, so that means if you turn the coarse focus knob, also the fine focus knob starts uh, to spin. The stage clips, uh, you can raise them by pressing on the back side here. And this here, that is um, a wheel, a filter wheel. Um, in another video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade this wheel um, to make it suitable for polarization. Two settings, uh, one for the bottom illumination, light from the bottom and one from the top. And over here, that is where the power supply goes in. Yeah, you plugs in yeah, into the power supply and the other side, of course, goes into the microscope um, as well. So you can use it uh, both with batteries and also with um, a power supply. Yeah, the batteries go in here. Um, there are three batteries, uh, regular AA sized uh, batteries. Yeah. 
And because it's an LED, uh, it's probably going to last pretty long. Three objectives, four times, 10 times, and 40 times, uh, giving you um, for, uh, 40, 100, and 400 times uh, magnification if you use the 10 times eyepiece. Yeah, this uh, screw that you see here, this is uh, for adjusting the top, uh, the highest, the highest position of the stage. Uh, it's a security mechanism. And uh, now I'm turning on the lamp and the top lamp uh, and it, uh, of course, also can be controlled uh, by the dimmer. Just like uh, the bottom lamp and here we have a look at the bottom lamp, of course. I, I think I already showed that to you. So generally the microscope makes a very good impression. Um, yeah, and uh, we're going to now have a closer look at what you can see. Okay, well, I think uh, we're now going to have a look uh, through the microscope itself and I'm going to show you now a nice uh, little water sample. Yeah, I prepared a little water sample with some algae. Um, yeah, it's a jar of water that I keep standi uh, have standing on my windowsill. Um, yeah, and uh, everything's now centered. And uh, yes, after a little bit of searching, I found this amoeba. So this is now, uh, I'm taken with my mobile phone and uh, now zoomed in a little bit more. And you can see that the amoeba is uh, quite nicely visible. This is now real time, so I'm not uh, going doing any time lapse. And this dark black line that you see there, this is a pointing arrow uh, which is inside the eyepiece. Uh, if you do not like that, then you can get it. You can remove that. Um, but also by rotating the eyepiece, uh, you can actually use it to point uh, at different objects. Lacrimaria, that is the name of this ciliate. It's a very, very long neck uh, and it's hunting for food. Uh, Lacrimaria, I also was able to find that. And all of the other things that you see in the background, these are um, algae, of course. So yeah, another amoeba that I found. This water sample did contain a lot of amoeba. This one is now um, in time lapse, so to see the movement a little bit better. Um, so. Uh, Again, if you do not uh, like to see that pointing arrow, then you have to either exchange the eyepiece or get it removed. I'm now trying a, a, a microscope camera, um, a USB microscope camera. Of course, that's not included, I have to say that. And it simply plugs in there instead uh, of uh, the eyepiece. And um, I'm now going to connect it uh, to my computer um, over the USB, of course. And this here is a cross section of a plant stem. So it was one of the, my reference slides that I use. And look, uh, by essentially t uh, turning the focusing wheel, I can, of course, also adjust the focus now, change magnification. So this, of course, allows you to also do microscopy um, on a computer monitor. So, um, and uh, again, I'm changing the magnification, but at the higher magnifications, it's already getting kind of dark. Um, so what you have to do is, is you have to, of course, uh, adjust the gain or the exposure time um, of uh, the camera. And you can do that uh, using the software. Yeah, so this is now a picture that I have taken uh, using the four times magnifying objective, the 10 times uh, magnifying objective. And here, this here is now the four, 40 times magnifying objective. It looks a little bit noisy. Uh, that is camera noise, okay? Uh, because uh, the, it was already quite dim. Yeah, and this is now um, a video that I made where I'm just simply uh, looking at the, uh, at the slide. And yeah. by the way, these are all cells that you see here. Yeah, let's go up with the magnification a little bit. Um, takes a little bit of time for the yeah for the exposure to adjust. I have to refocus, and these are the individual cell walls that you see of the plant cell cross section. Yeah, here that is where at the side now, and you see that uh, those larger cells that are bundled together. That's the so-called the vascular tissue where water is transported. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm not going to do a lot of biology now. So I think uh, enough for today. I hope uh, that this video was informative for you at the very end. I do have to say the following. It's just a little, little disclaimer. Um, I was not paid by the company uh, to make this review. It's important for me to say. Um, the microscope was supplied to me free of charge, however. Um, and uh, I've, uh, also there are no conditions on whatever I say. So that's also important. I can uh, make a I'm completely unbound with my uh, review. And I'm not affiliated uh, with the company and, and as well. So this basically means that uh, I can uh, make a completely free review. If you're interested in the microscope uh, and if you want to buy it, I did include uh, affiliate links in, into the description. And I also put the microscope into my microscopy shop, the affiliate shop. Um, and this way I do earn a little uh, commission every time when somebody buys uh, some, something from the shop. Uh, there are no additional costs uh, for the consumer. That's important. The commission is paid by Amazon. Um, and this also helps uh, to support the channel a little bit. And I hope that this way um, I'm also able in the future yeah, to buy products and to do a review uh, 
of them. So I would like uh, to essentially now say happy micro hunting everyone and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.